بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وصلاة وسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومولاه Brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I'm not going to take time because I know uh, it's uh, time for dinner, inshallah. It just came to mind that um, in the last verse of Surah Kaf, which we recited in the second raka'ah of Maghrib, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Qul, say, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if the ocean was made into ink, if the ocean was made into ink, and it was used to write the praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The nafid al bahar. The oceans would deplete. But you would not be able to give due reverence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. It made me think if I was to put pen to paper at this moment, how many pages can I compile in praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Acknowledging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bounty and favor upon me How many pages can I write? Think about this You know when you have a task or a essay or something that you need to compile The first thing you look for are sources Sources that can direct you towards composing A well thought out essay for example so those sources are vital you can't just start freelancing just start writing in order for us to appreciate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the greatest source is the what is the greatest source huh Quran you know there's a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam man sanna sunnatan hasanatan falahu ajruha wa ajru man amila biha Whoever reintroduces a sunnah, they get the reward for that and for those who practice upon that. You know, there's a sunnah or a practice that is starting to fade away from our communities. It has taken a cultural face and tomorrow it may be lost in the subhanAllah. And that is the connection with the Qur'an. That's not called studying the Qur'an. It's just like when you're in the masjid, pick it up and just read it. Yes, you have it on your phone, on the apps, but how many Qur'ans we see in certain masjids? They're laden, the bookshelves are laden with Qur'an. We walk in and ask ourselves, when's the last time, except for Jum'ah, mashallah, I would pick up the Qur'an, 15 minutes left, let me just sit down and look at the Qur'an. Let me tell you why this is so important. Because in the Holy Qur'an, and I'll finish with this, وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ وَقَالَ الرَّسُولُ يَا رَبِّي إِنَّ قَوْمِ اتَّخَذُوا هَذَا الْقُرْآنَ مَهْجُورًا On the day of judgment tomorrow, our Habib Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will make this case and complain to Allah. Oh Allah, verily my people had discarded the Qur'an. They had let go of the Qur'an. They had disconnected from the Qur'an. We'll talk about this in depth inshallah after dinner. I'm planning on talking a bit about mental health and spirituality as a component but remember, the Qur'an is a nourishment of the soul. Right now we're hungry, our stomachs talk to us, right? They start making noise. So what does the stomach say? Hey, get up and go to have food. So we acknowledge its need and we address the need. Our soul needs connection with the Qur'an. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us all to cling on to the Qur'an and connect through the Qur'an say, Ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to see this beautiful Word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given to us and benefit from it in its maximum case, say Ameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our presence here today, say Ameen. Jazakumullah khairan, subhanallah bihamdik, subhanakallahum wa bihamdik, nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant, nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant. I think it's dinner time, right? Okay. Thank you, Imam Sahib. Inshallah, we'll have another halqa after Isha Prayer.